I'm going to start boxing up my books. And my heart really hurts. A Florida elementary school teacher says she removed the books from her classroom library to comply with a new state law. I decided to remove the books from my classroom library um, out of necessity. It wasn't really a choice. Our district gave us an initiative. So districts are scrambling to try and keep up with this legislation. They're already understaffed, underfunded, and it's causing a lot of chaos within the district. So my particular district was they decided to have teachers remove access to all classroom libraries and media centers until all books could be vetted. Duval County Public Schools has directed teachers to use only approved books, while media center and classroom library books are reviewed by a certified media specialist. Uh, my students were extremely upset and they you know, the first thing they did, they walked in and they looked to the corner where our little free library is that we keep. And they just said, where are our books at? What did you do with our books? Are you, are you moving the library? What's happening? School districts across the state are implementing a contentious law Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signed last summer. It's all part of his push to legislate what is taught in Florida classrooms, including topics related to race and sexual orientation. HB 1467 calls for, quote, curriculum transparency, and says all library materials should be, quote, free of pornography. It also requires that books be vetted by a media specialist certified by the state. Video showing empty library shelves went viral, but a Duval district spokesman said it didn't show, quote, the other side of the library, fully stocked and open to students. I'm shocked and I'm confused, and there's so much political posturing and there's so much confusion. I, I truly feel in my heart like public schools are being set up to fail. A Duval spokesman says during the book review period, quote, there should not be a case when a classroom doesn't have any books, and that, quote, the list of approved books grows every day.